Hello everybody. So today we are going to understand the image formation by an object which is placed between two perpendicular mirrors. Here we have mirrors M1 and M2 which are at an angle of 90 degree with respect to each other. And this is the small point sized object O which is at a distance of 3 centimeters from mirror M1 and 4 centimeters from mirror M2. And the distance is always measured by dropping a perpendicular line from the object to the mirrors. Now we need to find out how many number of images are possible over here. So first of all in the later part of the video I am going to show you the ray diagrams, the actual ray diagrams. Here we are going to use the simple concepts like if I drop a perpendicular line then this is the object distance which is 3 centimeters then 3 centimeters exactly behind the mirror I am going to get the image and I am going to call this image as I1 so this behaves as the object for mirror M1 and the image is formed 3 centimeters behind this image is virtual and direct in the same way If I drop a perpendicular line, this distance is 4 centimeters. You can check from 12 to 8, it is 4 centimeters. And again, 4 centimeters behind, the image is going to be formed here. I'm going to call this image as I2. Now, this is not a very good reason to start with, but simply we can understand that this image since it is facing the reflecting side of mirror M2. So this behaves as an object. Again, I am laying an emphasis over here. This is not a very, very perfect uh, answer that this is the object for this mirror. But we can simply understand that since this image is facing the reflecting side of mirror M2. So this behaves as an object for M2. Two mirror and I can extend this mirror below like this so this is our extended mirror M2 now again since this behaves as an object so I should drop a perpendicular line like this again this distance is 4 centimeters so 4 centimeters behind I should get the image and I'm going to call this image as I1 star again this distance is 4 centimeter this is also 4 centimeter this distance is also 4 centimeter 4 centimeter now this image I2 since it is facing the reflecting surface of mirror M1 this is going to behave as an object for mirror M1 so I should extend this mirror backwards again this is not a very good reason it will be explained to you in the later part of the video now this distance from here to here if I drop a perpendicular line is again 3 centimeters so 3 centimeters behind you can see the image exactly coincides so this behaves as an object for mirror M1 because it is facing the reflecting side so the image of this coincides with I1 star and I'm going to call this as I2 star same distance behind here so you can see that if there are two perpendicular mirrors we have four images which are formed but out of those four images the last two images they actually fall on one another they coincide so now these two will be counted as a single image now this image was behaving as an object for this mirror because it was facing the reflecting side now these two images since these are facing the non-reflecting sides of the extended mirror m1 and m2 they will not behave as the object and now we are supposed to finish this off so total there are three images which are formed over here when the angle between two mirrors are 
90 degree correct now what I can do is I can join this point which is the point of intersection of the mirror this point with the object and we can know very we can understand very clearly that since this is 90 degree this is 4 centimeter this is 3 centimeter so this is 5 centimeter in the same way if I join this I2 with this point of intersection of the mirror this is again 5 centimeters we can use Pythagoras theorem to verify it this is again 4 centimeter this is 4 this is 3 so this distance is again 5 centimeter in the same way this is also 5 centimeter so what we are observing is we are observing all the images and the object they are equidistant from the point of intersection of the mirror now what can I do over here is I'm going to take a compass and I'm going to take this distance the distance from the object or the images with the point of intersection of the mirrors and I'm going to draw a circle by taking this point as the center and I notice an interesting thing that all these objects and images they lie on a circle whose radius is equal to the distance from the object to the point of intersection of the image oh I'm sorry the point of intersection of the mirrors so all of these objects and images they actually lie on the circumference of the circle now in the next part of the video we are going to understand the ray diagrams and how these images are actually formed so here we are looking at two perpendicular mirrors m1 and m2 these are the non-reflecting parts of the mirror and i'm going to draw an angle bisector like this now this angle bisector divides this whole angle into two parts this is 45 degree this is also 45 degree because the angle between both the mirrors is 90 degree now if i place an object on this angle bisector like you can see this object o lying on the angle bisector then this object is said to be symmetrically placed and suppose if there is any object over here say o and if it is not on the angle bisector it may be above the angle bisector or below the angle bisector Let, let's call this as O1 and this object as O2 then object O is situated symmetrically with respect to both the mirrors on the angle bisector and O1 and O2 are the objects which are not symmetrically located from both the mirrors that means they are not lying on the angle bisector now what we can confirm is we can also apply this formula that n is equal to 360 divided by theta where theta is the angle between both the mirrors so if I do 360 divided by 90 my answer is going to be 4 and if the number is even like over here 4 is an even number then n minus 1 that means 4 minus 1 that means 3 will be the number of images irrespective of the position of object whether symmetrical or non-symmetrical.